Hi everyone, it's Mike. I'm just going to make a video for you today on one of my primitive skills videos. Um, I said I would do like some primitive hunting method videos, you know, making like um, battle apples and throwing arrows and stuff like that. So this is the first one. I'm sorry if it looks like the camera's actually slanted, it's not. This bench is slanted that way. So the camera's straight, the bench isn't. Um, but anyway, I'll just go through the stuff you need to make this boat. So, you need some bamboo. I chose to use bamboo because everyone can get bamboo at some point um, from you know, a hardware store, as the Americans would call it, or a DIY store in the UK. Um, you need some power cord. Um, some duct tape, so very common man items really. Um, this can be done in the woods, obviously, you know, quite easily. All you do is use a different wood, um, but for now, as for ease of use, we're just going to use bamboo. So, this is a full pack of bamboo that I've got on the floor here. Well, what we want to do is we want to select the thickest piece of bamboo and another in the other thickest piece like that and we want the thick bit on this side going that way and the thick bit on this side going that way so that when we put them together it's evening out the weak part and the thick part like that so what we want to do is again select the next thickest piece we're going to be those two like that put them there again then we want to select the next thickest pieces I reckon it's them two like that and then I want to do two more so I want those two like that so these two we'll keep them don't know what I'm going to do with them yet just depends but over here we've got our pieces so we can now take them and just put them together like this and even them out now I reckon I did choose to put these two in. Right, the bow's going to be very thick if I do that. So I'll discard those two and just use these. So, first thing we want to do is make sure everything's leveled out. Like that. And I'm just going to move the camera up so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully you'll be able to see me better now. So we've evened everything out on the floor, like that. <coughs> Sorry guys if my voice is a bit thingy, I've got a really soft throat. Uh, gonna have to go make some pine needle tea later on. But anyway, what we want to do is we want to leave about an inch at the top, take our duct tape, and we need to Wrap the duct tape as tight as we can around the top of the bow. This Obviously this does use a lot of your duct tape which is a resource but then again in a survival situation you need meat, you can't just live off greens. 
and this is her um, less calorie intensive way of making a bow, you know, because other birds take a lot of carving and a lot of skill. This doesn't really. So. Right, I think that'll do for this bit. So. There we go. Now just press that down. Now we need to do the other end. So just make sure all that's gonna line up about about right, like that. And take our duct tape. Gain about an inch from the top and just keep wrapping. So I'll just do that and then I'll bring you back just purely from a point of saving you know video time because the video restrictions to 15 So guys minutes, so. is the bow so as you can see two big holes at the top then a middle one like a, a three quarters one here and then I've put two here but this here is where the handle is going to be so the handle will be about about here I'm going to make it long so I can decide where I like it you want to preferably make it about the middle of the bow which is about here so as you can see the handle on top would be perfectly adequate so I'm going to take a load of paracord you can use whatever type of cord you want for this really Hopefully this much will do. Yeah. Right, I'm just gonna straighten this card out because it's been wrapped up, so right. So what I want to do is take a bit of the card and Just thread it under one of them and leave a tag poking out. Then I want to go across like this and start as tightly as I can. Let's get this one here. as tightly as I can I want to start wrapping this round piece so just go back a bit because I want to get it spot on So this needs to be as tight as it can be. So this is just going to give us a nice handle to hold. Obviously it would trap our skin if we didn't make a handle. want to make a nice power cord handle remember guys this is 
been done very fast. Could take more time over it. This has been done very fast, so I'll just complete this and then so bring it back. Here's the handle. It's nice grip. Um, just tied in the normal knot at the bottom, which I would singe um, to make sure that it's secure. But for now, it'll do. I've just put an extra little bit of duct tape there. Just if you see any bits sticking up, it's a weakness in the burr. Um, and I like to keep them uniform tight together, and that bit had a little bit sticking up. So you just put a tiny bit of duct tape round just to keep it together because it relies on the strength of all the um, sticks combined. So now what we have to do is string it up. So I'm using paracord for the string. Obviously, this isn't a normal type of burr string. You know, people that use power cord, but because it stretches and stuff, but it's fine for me. So, what we want to do is just tie a, a loop in here. So guys, here's the finished burr. It's not perfect. When I pull it, I can hear some cracking like that. Um, so that's not great. Um, but it'll do for a quick burr that, you know, when you need meat. Um, and it may just be the wood bending. So what I will do is, obviously it's strung up now, as you can see by the end I've just wrapped it round like you normally would. Um, string's fairly tight, but not too tight, because I wanted a demo not to snap the burr. But I'm pretty sure it will get you game. I've got one of my arrows, um, I know you don't find arrows in the woods, but I wanted to show you how to make a atal atal later, so that's why I'm showing you. Um, but for now, so I'll just back the camera off and I'll give you some shots. <laughs> 